In the Aizu capital, Wakamatsu, rumors spread that the invaders rape and sell captured Aizu women as slaves to the foreign powers. Yuko has followed her older sister Takeko to Aizu. She is in despair at what may happen. But Takeko is determined not to commit suicide. She cuts their hair in the style of the male samurai. The sisters will fight for their clan's survival. Takeko gathers her women to join with the remains of the Aizu army. When they finally reached an Aizu outpost, Takeko receives a mixed reception. As a samurai woman, Takeko has to submit to the commander's orders. The next day, Takeko's women have finally joined forces with the Aizu men. But they are cut off from the castle by a large unit of the Emperor's army. While the main Aizu force with Takeko's women engages the enemy, two other units attack from the flanks. The aim, to break through and return safely to the castle gates. The enemy is shocked by the deadly fury of the Aizu women. According to Aizu Chronicles, Takeko caused havoc amongst enemy lines. This made her the prime target. Today, at the site where Takeko fought and died, a memorial has been erected by the people of Aizu. Takeko Nakano has been revered by generations of young Aizu women who live their lives in the spirit of their female ancestors. <laughs>